Right, hey Grade Elevens, making another video now following the other videos on fixed assets and reconciliations and all that. Um, and we've reached question one here entitled ledger accounts. So we're just going to go through question one here in the next video. I think there's an income statement question as well. So for the required in this case, we're going to look at the ledger accounts of chai latte traders. We're going to do some of those. And there's a small little four mark theory question afterwards. So in terms of the ledger accounts, there's current account of C. Chai, the drawings of L. Latte, and the all-important appropriation account. Okay, so they also tell us that the perpetual stock system is used. Is used. Um, you should be familiar with the perpetual system, trading stock cost to sales always being calculated throughout the year. Okay, so estimate all or estimate all calculations to the nearest rand where necessary. Okay, we hope we don't have too many of that. And here are the inf information. First of all, the balances, capital of C. Chai and L. Latte is given, and the current accounts on the 1st of March 2015 are also given. Okay, remember our financial year is probably the 1st of March until the end of February 2016, it says over there. Okay, so where do we begin? We asked, asked for the current account of C. Chai. So as always, I'm just going to reveal the answers as we go in yellow. So the opening balance. Well, the current account of C Chai is going to be what we're going to start our answer with. 1,800 Rand debit side. Why debit side? Well, why is debit side not so great? It means that, that that person has overdrawn their current account from the previous year. Okay, so there's some marks already. We've opened our current account for Chai. Okay, because we're also going to be asked the drawings and the appropriation, I'm going to fill in answers there if necessary as well. We're not going to just do one at a time. Okay, the income statement showed a profit of. 680,000 Rand at the end of February 2016. Okay, where would that information end up going? On the credit side of appropriation. There it is, 680 profit and loss at the end of the year. Remember, we now, or at some stage in this activity, are going to distribute or allocate that money in a primary and secondary or final distribution. Next piece of information, C. Chai took goods worth 800 Rand per month for his private use from the 31st of March 2015, and thereafter on the last day of each month. Okay, so we can work out how much then this person, C. Chai, is taking out in the form of drawings. Okay, so if you go back to his current account over here, remember that drawings for C. Chai, right, his, his drawings is going to take out his trading stock, and chances are later on, it's going to talk about his partner's drawings here, for taking out money from his salary allowance. So initially, 800 Rand for his drawings is going to be a trading stock item, and he's going to take out 800 Rand a month for trading stock. The way they've worded it here is just kind of telling you when exactly he's taking out the drawings. So 800 Rand times 12 is 9,600 Rand there, and it's going to form part of drawings dot dot C chai. You cannot just write drawings. You must write the name of the guy as well because there's an account called Drawing C Chai. So 9,600 Rand relates to the trading stock that he took out every month. Don't worry about the next figure. We'll get there. The next part of this says on the same dates, El Latte took goods worth 900 Rand each month. So we are asked for the drawings account of El Latte and he's taking out what? He's taking out goods. So here's the drawings account of El Latte. Trading stock on the debit side because that's what he's taking out. Trading stock 900 Rand times 12, and he's going to take out debit side over the year 10,800 Rand. Number four, no entries were made in the books of these transactions. Of these transactions, the private telephone account of 3,600 Rand was paid with a business check on behalf of El Latte on the 31 August 2015. The check was posted to the telephone account. Do you think it's right that it would have been posted to the telephone account? It should be posted to his individual drawings account because he's, he's getting it paid for by the business. So on the debit side of Latte's drawings account will be this 3,600 Rand and the contract will be telephones because you are going to be cancelling the figure that is appearing in telephones at the moment. Let's go there. Here, towards the bottom of the screen, there is 3,600 Rand, and it's going to be called telephone because he's taken out drawings in the form of the business paying his telephones. 
Right, we go to number 2.5, additional information and stipulations of the partnership agreement. It says the partnership or the partners are entitled to an annual salary of 144,000 Rand. That's what they are entitled to. Okay, so that should be sent to the credit side of their current account. So if we just pause there and we go to the current account of C. Chai, which we are required to do, there is the allocation of his salary of C. Chai, right? He's allowed to take that money out. It's on the credit side because the current account is an equity account. On the debit side of appropriation, both of them, salary C. Chai, salary L. Latte, are going to get 144000 on the debit side of appropriation. The adjustment continues to say, though, that of this, 132000 was paid by the 31 January 2016 per check to each of them and was recorded in the personal or the partner's drawings accounts. Remember that although they've been each allocated 144000 uh, salary allowance, they take it out in the form of drawings. So they've each taken out drawings of 132000 in the form of their salary. So as part of the drawings figure for latte, which we are required to do, there is 132000 And note that the contra account is bank because they've taken out money, right? And also in the current account of C. Chai, as well as the 9,600 for trading stock, you're going to add the, the 132,000 Rand there because that's what he took out in cash in lieu of his salary. So you can total that up to 141,600. Back to the question, both bonus are but partners are entitled to a 15% interest per annum on their capital contribution at the first day of the financial year, on the first date of the financial year. On the 28th of February 20.9, El Latte deposited 30,000 Rand into the partner's bank account to increase his capital. Okay, so that's on the last, on the 28th of February 20.9. That's a long time ago. That could possibly be an error. But if they say that both partners are entitled to 15% on their capital contributions at the first day of the financial year, what would their balances be? What were their balances on the first day of the financial year? 100,000 for C. Chai? and 70,000 Rand for latte. So if we go to our interest on capital or our appropriation rather, there is our interest on capital on the debit side of appropriation, 15,000 for the one guy, 10,500 Rand for the other guy. And how would we have got that? Let's do C Chai's first. C Chai's balance was 100,000 and we are timesing it by the interest rate of 15%. So that's gonna give us 15,000 which is their 15,000, right? The other guys were 70,000, and if we times it by 15%, we get the other 10,500. Okay, so together, 25,500 on the debit side of appropriation. Remember, interest on capital is giving them access to more money. So in their current accounts, we're going to go put their interest on capital. So for C. Chai, he got 15,000, and we would have done the same for El Latte. Do not let this deposit of... 30,000 Rand to increase his capital throw you, okay? It's just telling you that a good while ago, Latte gave a bit more money capital. It's not affecting the adjustment for this year. 2.5.3 says that each partner was given a bonus of 20,000. So in the appropriation account, partner's bonus either is one line or as two lines. Two lines preferable, I guess. Partner, you could say bonus dot dot chai, bonus dot dot latte. But there is 20 and 20 is 40,000. At this stage, we have completed those four figures there, the primary distribution of profits. So we now have to see, is there money left over for us to allocate? And that possibly is what the next adjustment is saying. 2.5.4, the capital account of CCHI stayed unchanged. Okay, it doesn't really affect us now. And then the last very important adjustment, the remaining profit must be divided in the ratio of the partner's capital account balances on the last day of the financial year. Okay, so if at the last day of the financial year, we were told that C. Chai stayed unchanged, that makes C. Chai's balance at the end of the year 100,000. This is where I think there could be a mistake. If it means that Latte did not then 
remain unchanged. It means he must have changed. So I think that this figure here, 28th of February 20.9, most likely could be the end of this year and should be maybe 2016. Okay, let's just confirm that with our memo. If he's given us 30,000 Rand in terms of bank to increase his capital, his balance of 70,000 would have reached 100,000. Do you agree? So 70 plus that 30 would have made him equal at 100,000. Therefore, if we have to share the final profits or losses, one as to one, they're going to be shared equally. Let's just confirm that in our memo. Yes, it does look to be correct. But in order to work out how much is to be shared, we would take the profit of 680,000 on the credit side and minus the total of the debit side as it stands. So you're going to minus the 144,000, which is salary for Thai, minus the 144,000 salary for Latte, minus the 25,500, their interest capital, and you're going to minus their combined bonus of 40,000. That's going to give you 326,500 remaining profits left to allocate. If we divide that by two, we're going to get each one of them getting an additional 163,250 over there. That's for for chai and the same for latte, both of them getting an equal additional share of remaining profits. Right, so at this stage, our appropriation account is going to be balancing at 680,000 on both sides and it's done the appropriation account. Right, however, this 163 that I've finished with now would also have to go to the credit side of each of their current accounts. Oh, there also, there's the bonus of chai, which we forgot to put in as well. Beneath the bonus for Chai, appropriation, 163,250, and Chai has got his final share of profits. If you want to finish off Chai's current account, you're now going to total them. Both sides total the 342,250, which would indicate that his balance carry down on the credit side is 198,850, and then to deposit on the credit side, 198,850. Right, and I think this is not 09, this is probably 16. Okay, so there's the current account of Chai done. Just to finish off the drawings of Latte, we would what? We would close off the drawings of Latte at the end of the year to his current account. That's where it gets closed off to. And then that would be the end of the drawings account for Latte. Okay, so there are the three ledger accounts done. They were 17 plus 825, 46 marks. So a lot of marks. Please make sure your contra accounts are correct and obviously your figures as well. The last part of the question did make mention of a little theory question. Do you think the business has proper internal control procedures? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, there's not too much to go on here as the question is quite a short question. But looking at the information here, uh, what could point at maybe us having good internal controls or bad internal controls? Possibly the telephone story where it was paid for latte and it was just put to telephones and not to his drawings. We had to fix that. Okay, let's go have a look and see what the suggestion is. There we go. Yes or no. So depending on how you view this, the business, you could say yes. The business was able to find the mistake that they made in the telephone account and made the adjustment. Okay, so I guess that's good. Or you could say... No, it took the business six months to find out that the personal account of a partner was recorded as telephones instead of drawings. So either way, could prove full marks for that question, provided your reason is a good reason. Okay, so there we're done with ledger accounts. I hope this makes sense to you. In the next video, I will be going through an income statement of a partnership question.